happening? Am I coming through all right? Let's see. And we ride with some Saturn. Super clear tonight. Extra clear, extra crispy. This is gonna be a like kind of a short one because I do want to do the moon, but it won't be up for another like two hours, so I'll try and keep this one short. But yeah, we got some beautiful Kronos, our old sun. Just listening to some Thunderbolts Project, some Wall Thornhill talking about Velikovsky. Amazing to just pull up the scope and pull in Saturn like that and be able to observe. You know, Walt Thornhill was talking about like how he finally got off the fence about hollow planets and hollow celestial bodies and how, you know, the strongest, if it's expanding from the center and being pushed in from the outside, from the ether, and the strongest form it can take is like a shell. And that's really cool. chat over here. What's up, Happy Honey Bear? Happy Honey Big Bear, what's going on, Mary? What up, what up, Fast Paced? What's up, Justin? What up, Sabian? What up, Black Ballerina? What up, C. Smith? And Dagger Spells. Welcome to the views of Saturn tonight. I waited a little bit. I had it in view for a while, but it was still kind of hazy, but now it is sharp. You can really see the shadow on the lower band. You can see the central band of Saturn on the planet, and you can see separation of the Cassini division, outer ring. It's crazy. Crazy stuff. Oh, that was a little too bassy. What about... Everybody just joining. A happy Saturday to you. It's going to be a quick one, but it is quite beautiful. Decided to share it with everyone. How do, how do I keep an, an image like this to myself, honestly? It's almost like an addiction, but I feel like it's also my duty to provide the space. I don't know, I'm looking up some older jams. What's up there, Mark Rowe? You made it. Nice to see ya. I haven't put 
like this in a while, I'm sure. Jupiter earlier, that's awesome. Yeah, it's a good night for astronomy. And especially, you know, planetary viewing with this kind of balanced and like less turbulent sky is just excellent. So sorry, just got real. <laughs> just got real over here. Um, 
best Saturn in a while. So what I wanted to do real quick was, now I remember. I wanted to say thanks to everybody who commented on the Saturn video. I know that I really suck about um, returning people's comments on videos. It, it, became, it was a thing right in the beginning, back in 2015 when I started. I'd respond to every single comment on every single video. And then once you take a break from it, you realize like you can't really keep up with that, with all the different comments coming in. Um, so I kind of became terrible about it. So forgive me if I don't respond to everybody, but thank you so much for leaving cool and interesting comments in all my videos, especially this last Saturn one. I thought I'd uh, read a couple of them that I thought were interesting. Since we're just looking at Saturn. So let's see what I can do over here. Let's go through a few of them. This is on large object transit Saturns, live on stream 06, 17, 19. So lots of nice thumbs up, about a thousand views almost. Majesty says, incredible, what an eerie feeling, what a rare moment, congrats. DD says, holy crap. They Lie says, lol, my basketball, that was always cool. That was cool as always. <clears throat> Let's see, Mary says, that was a very special day. Thank you for your live streams, Luna, Saturn, Jupiter, and lovely music. Thank you for kind words and comments, as always. Always so sweet about the music. Graham Clark says, Saturn has 62 confirmed moons, of which nine are waiting to be officially named. Saturn's largest moon, Titan, is bigger than Mercury and Pluto, etc. <clears throat> factoid, factoid comment. Vicky says, what the heck, what the hell, awesome capture. Copper Trop says, wow, what the heck. Wascally Rabbit says, must be one of those spherical birds they talk about. <clears throat> Carolina Sky Astronomy, awesome. Keep it coming, depends on size and distance what it really is. South node, exact conjunction. I'm just gonna run through a few. That was amazing. Nice catch, impressive, impressive. Let's see. Yeah, I saw that Sky, Sky Tour live stream with Mark D'Antonio. Respondent says, good satellite transit capture, congrats. Chances are not that high for a planet transit. And follows up with, there's an off chance it is an asteroid, but I suspect satellite. Knowing the time to transit plus angular size of Saturn where it crossed, I can tell you the satellite altitude and perhaps identify it. Seems to be moving too fast to be a geosat bird, plus too large, but perhaps a rocket body midway out that transferred the, the payload to the mid-distance point to the geosat orbit, perhaps. Yeah, that's, you know, the size and shape of it and kind of the speed it was going. I definitely feel like it could have been part of a booster rocket or a short piece of rocket, um, maybe a type of payload. Um, but it also seemed a bit circular, so maybe it is it is an asteroid or rubble or, or something like that. But distinctly not like the kind of, sh like, I don't know, shimmering or shiny satellites or like the smaller sats that are uh, I've typically caught before. But, I don't know, it definitely reminds me actually of an early uh, transit of the moon. This kind of like black, like shadowy orb that just crossed, orb or whatever, disc that just crossed. That's what it really mostly reminded me of. What's up Luther Vanguard says, any hope of you showing Jupiter's red spot? So you're probably not been on this channel much, but uh, I have a limited view with my window, so Jupiter's out of view of this scope currently, unfortunately. It would be amazing to see it, but I had it earlier, and uh, we didn't get the great storm tonight, but the viewing was pretty excellent, so my last stream was some good shots of Jupiter. Right now it's Saturn for a little bit, and then I'm going to end this stream and hit up the moon 
in like, I don't know, an hour and a half maybe. So this is a quick one, but it was looking nice. <laughs> C. Smith says, you do enough, thank you. Says the site's learning music and chat, even just reading the chats. I really appreciate all the comments and, and all the interaction. Everybody makes me feel really comfortable to share my music and uh, yeah, it's all super respectful. So that's, I'm thankful for that. I'll keep going a couple more. So yeah, Mark D'Antonio, if that's what you wrote, I think definitely possible. It's really interesting. Um, says nice, one-legged witchy woman says nice, our galaxy is full of rogue planets. Could that have been what you caught? Very exciting, thanks for your work. Thank you for your comment. Mark Rose says fascinating, pretty cool. You know I never miss a stream, I rewatch them later, heck yeah. I'm gonna be doing some early Jupiter streams too. Z Proxy says, good work. Notice it's unlit. Not even the simulation sun reflects upon it. <laughs> it's poetry, man, poetry. But yeah, it doesn't, it de like I, I mentioned that too because I noticed that it's very much like a, either a shadow or just the shape of an object that's not glinting or capturing any sunlight. So Dragon76 says, where's the math experts who can take the zoom level, known size of Saturn, and tell us the size speed of this, or is that even possible? I don't know. Could it have been something super small in orbit, or large and far away? Any way to tell? The only thing I can say from my personal experience is that it feels like it was closer because it was much, much faster. But then again, and, and something that large and close to Saturn, I feel like might have taken much longer to cross the frame. But. That's the only real observation that I can make. Otherwise, it reminds me of, like I said, some lunar phenomenon that I've captured. So it might be a satellite type, or it might be like a, a type of satellite that's been, that, I don't know, that doesn't glint. Or at least maybe at this angle it didn't glint, but it doesn't make sense. If you can see Saturn, you should be able to kind of get that, that satellite shimmering. Not so sure. Not so sure. Thank you, Mary. Um, happy honey, thank you. Viewing from Tampa, Florida, south, humid ass Florida, always. All right, a couple more comments. Murloc says, we will never know. It could be a space rock or spacecraft. Kate, Kate Irish says, wow, this is unbelievable. Have I sent this to NASA? Um, and I'm just gonna comment on uh, Actually, no, this, that's, a, that's a, fair, a fair enough comment. <clears throat> I think the, the answer to that is just a silly comment, but I don't think we should be making fun of each other. I was going to say keep the chat respectful, but I don't want to tell people what to do. Everyone knows what to do. Cognition wins, studies the orb phenomenon using burst photography. So I wonder if, if orb phenomenon is actually just due to electric fields and uh, magnetic fields and what they call auras, but basically interaction between planet, uh, planet, planets, plants and animals and humans. We emit electric fields and we have transverse electric waves and interconnected ripples that maybe these are these, are these sparks that appear in photos. Um, same thing with, I was just watching the, the Thunderbolts Project video, the transient lunar phenomenon, and they were talking about Actually, I was going to correct myself on the, on the next stream, but if I, don't, if I happen to fall asleep, I'm just going to correct myself. I've been saying, uh, what was I been saying? I've been saying off-gassing on the moon for those flashy white spots, but it's actually out-gassing is the real term. And then Electric Universe actually says that maybe it's not that, maybe it's actually changes in charge and uh, filamentary like plasma actually, or electrostatic dust potentially sparking on the surface. And that actually, I think, I, I kind of ascribe more to that theory than actually outgassing. But I definitely want to correct myself for saying that like a whole bunch for a whole, <laughs> probably a bunch of years too, and saying off-gassing, I don't know why. But maybe off-gassing is something else that I heard. So anyway, correction, and I'll probably say it on the, on the moon stream as well.
All right, let's see what else. This is an interesting comment that I'm going to ignore. <laughs> now, this is an interesting comment that doesn't make any sense to me. It says, uh, Kyle Denny says, it's a spot on your CMOS sensor. Happens to me all the time when I'm imaging planets. I suggest buying a cleaning kit off Amazon. So I'm just gonna let that one sit and rot on the vine. There's another one I'm gonna also let rot on the vine. Saving Geometry says, does this research help? Says space, space weather, uh, space, space weather, space Recent upcoming Earth asteroid encounters. Actually, it was very helpful to read that. So thank you for it. And then Rick Dangerous says, this also happened on your channel involving Saturn a while back and puts a link to an old, to a video that he captured watching the stream. And in it, it shows kind of like a, a very turbulent air current pass in front of Saturn. And I actually think that's a perfect example of, um, what's it called, aircraft passing through, like a, a twisting turbulent aircraft current passing in front of Saturn. And you can see how different it is than the lunar wave or like the Jupiter wave or like, um, yeah, you just see the turbulent air pattern. I think that's what that is. It looked like heat waves. Um, anything else? Let's see. Another orb phenomenon. And that's about it. So anyway, thanks everybody for the nice comments and uh, maybe we'll find out what it is one day. <laughs> I was, I was sure, I was like, was Ellie here earlier? <laughs> Sorry, hey, nice to see you. So funny. Because I'm streaming in the same room, um, I didn't refresh the page, so it just continued the chat, and I was like, Ellie was right at the top of the page. So I thought I said hi to you earlier. Dinner was awesome, there was a lot of broccoli, a lot of greens, and like an amazing salad that I made with some goat cheese and sprouts and tomatoes. And then, uh, what else did I make? Yeah, I seared the broccoli so it had like a nice char on it and then flipped it with some garlic herb butter. Really good. But now I'm lethargic, slightly lethargic. <laughs> but look at this shot of Saturn, like how do I not stream this? This is uh, pretty epic. And I love the, the Thunderbolts project video. If any of you all follow the Electric Universe, the, that whole lunar transit phenomenon video is something completely out of my dream. I'm like, let them talk more about the moon. And they make these videos about the moon. I mean, it's so interesting because it's like such an easy target to observe, to assess, to talk about. Like we could have a scope on the moon all day long, every day with astrophysicists astrophysicists and lunar geologists talking about the moon all the time instead of reality TV, instead of silly talk shows, and you know, instead of shopping patterns, we should talk about, you know, like what is Saturn and how did it come to be and, and why does it exist the way it does? We should replace all those silly shows with real space footage.
Yeah, it was like this, this French herb goat cheese I happened to have from a party. Very, very nice. I didn't have any feta, no, Light Moon. Had your sprouts and goat cheese, hell yeah. It sounds hearty and delicious, it was, certainly was. Fastpace33 says, can you see satellites around our planet? I think you can. I've captured many a, many a transit that looks like a little satellite and one that looks like the ISS. So I have a playlist called Transits and you can go look at that and see what it looks like. Some of them kind of glint like a star passing by and some like our shadows, like the, the Saturn transit from the other day or lunar one from way back when. Um, it was Boursin, actually, not Chevry, but Boursin I never really buy anymore. It's something that I used to have as a kid, and uh, I was like, let me just have this. Why not? And it happened to be room temperature as well. So, and like a nice heirloom tomato. Yeah, that's the, that's the end of my shopping, though. So now the fridge is a barren wasteland. Yo, what's up, Cognition? remote it is every night it's a little bit worse <laughs> all right there we go yeah so I urge anybody who's not really into electric universe or Thunderbolts project to really just check out a couple of their recent videos about um, space phenomenon that is observed and that we're taking pictures of, that I'm taking pictures of, and all the other streams take pictures of, and these phenomenon are plasma. They're not, they're not sublimation of water, and they're not due to heat. You know, and these, we're, we're moving into a new age of astrophysics, but it's happening so slowly because people don't know how to really deal with popular science, but I think the only way you really do it is to just stop giving fuel to that fire and stop, you know, like the, the way that propaganda spreads is such that you'll have a movie opening and they'll say, since the earth is 13.7 billion years old, therefore, etc., and then a whole bunch of crap. So, you know, taking things as settled science is really where it's at. and. If you don't actually say, hey, 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 slow down, slow down, man, with that settled science, what about this? Like, I don't think we can really move past this 200-year-old paradigm and this kind of biblical, patriarchal structure that has a chokehold on moving forward in science. So I think it's all about just like catching yourselves, catching ourselves, catching other people, but not in an aggressive way, just being like, hey man, like before, you're, before things are settled, let's, let's figure out all these other aspects of it. I think that could be a way forward. Really politely, of course. Oh, Mary's listening to Dreamboat. Yeah, let's play that. Do some new stuff. New tracks. <laughs> Oh, what's up, Katie Irish? I read your comment on the Saturn video. Nothing, I, I don't think I have an actual solve for that. Mark D'Antonio mentioned that it might be a satellite or like part of a rocket booster. I think it definitely could be something like that or an asteroid or a meteor or a piece of space junk that we're not aware of. Or it could be something more like crazy, but word's still out. But anyway, welcome. Doing a quick stream right now of Saturn for all of you just joining. And then later on, the moon. Dreamboat from the top.
right, that was a random one that showed up. Funky time. Let's see, I had, uh, I had a few... So I've done a lot of things since I started, and I put out these three albums right out the gate, The Captain of the Stars, um, Vibration, Theater, and Call in My Mind. And then I wrote three albums that I didn't put out at all. Damn. Oh. I'm stepping on some wires. Sorry about that. So yeah, I have this whole, like, maybe 21 songs <laughs> off this album called Make Your Own Rules, and I never, never released it. I've definitely played some of the songs off of it, but this is from 2017, this whole album, um, and I'm just going to play a couple of tracks off of it. And I don't know why I never released it. I think I just felt like um, I'd produced Captain of the Stars so well, and like I spent time mixing each track that this one was just like too rough to release, but I will eventually put it out fully. It's like a lot of songs on it. I'm sure you've heard some of them. And then uh, there's this new one coming out called Obsci, I think, Observational Science. And it's a bunch of the new tracks that I've been playing recently, like that last one. And Feel For You and other things. So let's see. Once I came in, I roll with fire. Fill my whole life with significance. Circle shell waves filled with fire. Remorse. Hold my torch for the ones who want to live. Thank you. 
All right, everybody. A couple of old jams from an old album, but I don't know. I think I should take a break. The moon's gonna take another hour to come up, so I'm gonna take a quick break. I'll be back, maybe in the same, I think, link, but if you don't get the notification, check back in about, I don't know, 30, 40, 45 minutes or so. Get make myself a drink. And I shall be back. In 